Hi, it's Don. Today's post is titled, Acronyms Gotta Love Them. Even at my advanced age, I did catch on to many of the acronyms in use today. Even in my days, the ones like FYI or ASAP were in use. I can attribute a couple to even the previous generation. SNAFU came about during World War II, as did FUBAR, contrary to what one might conclude given the recent TV series of the same name. So as not to be disgusting or filthy, I'm not going to spell out what they both mean. I mentioned this as I saw an acronym I was familiar with, but it was being used for something entirely different than what I recall. NBD. Now in this particular case, it is being used by a super PAC to try to get a candidate elected for president. I'm leaving as much politics out as I can. They use NBD to refer to never back down. Seems like a sound premise for a political candidate. Here's the problem. I've always used NBD to mean no big deal. Again, not to get too political, given the direction of this person's potential candidacy, I'm kind of thinking my usage fits the situation with a bit more relevancy. Trying to stay neutral and not quite an acronym in the truest sense of the word, I'll also mention the opposition's use of the phrase Bidenomics, an obvious reference to its first use, I think, Reaganomics. I don't think the party behind Reagan would want to use that term for any other party presidents. So let me just concentrate on the other side of the fence. Clintonomics would be a risky move. Pronounce or drop a syllable and you could find yourself blushing. The only other would be, and let me see if I can get this straight, Obamaomics. <laughs> Sorry, that's just too, well, it just doesn't flow. So our current president seems to have won the prize for the reusage of onomics. Again, to stay away from politics or the economy, I'll refrain from judging whether either economic policy works or not. In retrospect, I wonder more about who, why, and how they come up with those names that then become catchy acronyms or phrases. Or do they not have the wisdom of an elder that can ensure the usage makes sense for the situation? Eh, NBD. Cheers.